get with this, cause this is where it's at. You can get with this, or you can get with that. What's up, everybody? Welcome to This Is It. Thank you so much for joining. We are here to do another reaction to James Brown. It's a man's world. This song was written by James Brown in New York what? City studio in 1966. Yeah, man. And um, later that year, it reached number one on the Billboard R&B charts and number eight on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. So, hey, man. James Brown, the Godfather Soul. But as I can't do that without my soul brothers here, Phenom 202, what say you? Phenom 202, DJ representative. I am excited about this song. I love this song. And the reason why I love this song is because my man, shout out, I'm a hip hop head through and through. Beanie Single had that had a song called Some Man's Roll on his album, yo. Sample this joint. Fire, yo. Mm, but uh, Godfather Soul, yo. I can't pull on this show. Let's get it. Hollywood DA, what's going on? What up, man? James Brown. I can't. That was my the yeah. worst James Brown impression on earth. But it's exactly like James Brown. Yeah. Hey, James Brown. <laughs> yeah, I have to listen to him for a second, but he talked really yeah. fast and you barely hear what he was saying sometimes. Corey, you need to do it. Corey real good at impressions. He needs to beat that James Brown in. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I know I'll probably be able to do it after I hear him for a couple of times during this, but yeah, he, but, he used to talk yeah, real fast. To hear it, uh, it's a man's world, and for everybody out there, you can come join our world. This is it media Facebook group. Click the link, it's going to be in the description, pin the comment, and going forward, like I was saying, this is all how we are going to motherfucking pick songs uh, for us to react to. Everybody likes to drop a bunch of songs in the, in the comments of these YouTube videos. I mean, we try to get through these comments. It's a lot, you know, it's a lot of videos. We got hundreds of videos. It's a lot of comments, you know, thousands of comments coming every day. So okay. we'll to, we'll, to make it easier, join the Facebook group and there's gonna have a dedicated post to songs Drop your song there. If it gets a lot of likes, whatever songs gets the most likes will be the songs that we react to, you know, at you know, top of the ones we pick our personal favorites, and then we will have your favorites too. So there it is. But look at the song. So yes, that's why, that's why Corey does the impressions. I know I, I can't do it. I'm I'm not even gonna attempt. I mean, I could probably attempt, but I, I gotta hear his voice in order to be I gotta get his cadence. And so I, I would just be trying to pretend to be James Brown right now. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and get it to James Brown. You think it'll be better than what I just did. <laughs> but let me tell you something. Yeah, I know that's something. All right, man. You guys ready? He already smiling. Look, James, that's one thing, James Brown. He's ready. He won't smile, yo. Smiling away, yo. He ready. All right, man. So you guys ready? Yes, sir. All right, man, let's do it in three, two, one, go. So, 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 so. Mm. You got that voice, though, boy. Yeah. Just... Powerful. James Brown's your dad. You'll do everything you say. This is a match. Don't be bad. This is a man's world. But it wouldn't be nothing. 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 This shit fire. It is. This is a man's world. Mm -hmm. This is a man's world. Mm -hmm. mm, man. But it wouldn't be nothing. <laughs> Talk 
talk about stage presence. Yeah, he's got it. He's working at it. Yeah. <laughs> Man thinks about a little bit of baby girls <laughs> and a baby boy. Man make them happy because man make them toys. But after man make everything, everything he can. Man makes money the root of all evil to buy from other man. <coughs> <laughs> yes. That woman or girl. Oh. Yo. I'm with the crowd. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. Mm. Shit is fire, yo. <laughs> yo. Showman, yo. Oh, oh my God gosh. bless that man's knees, yo. God, motherfucker. Just remember that pause. I mean, yeah, but yeah. go ahead. Yo, show me. You how how we know. spun around. Say, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Let's snatch right the now. mic. On one, like, he spun around so fast and grabbed the mic. Yo, I'm like, yeah. I need like 10 times before I get it right, yo. No, he's like, Excellent. that was incredible. That was yeah. incredible. Yeah, it's definitely... I, I, I know James Brown from my time. By the time that I knew James Brown, of course, the first time that, and unfortunately, the first time I'd actually ever seen who James Brown was, was during Rocky Three when he was doing Living in America. Rocky but by III. that time, James, that wasn't the, just James Brown. He was long, much older. This guy right here was the guy that the Godfather saw that I had been heard so much about all the years. And I totally now, after seeing that performance, why so many people love James Brown, man, and why he was deemed the Godfather soul. He was killing it. He was killing it. He had me. Shit, I was ready to throw my draws at the damn monitor. <laughs> 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 Kids. Oh god. I would, like take it, James. Shit. Oh, you, you got me. <laughs> but anyway, y'all go y'all go ahead, man. This was just incredible, yo. Such amazing performance, man. No, I it's crazy, man. Uh James Brown has influenced so many of our uh of our uh stars of today and yesteryear. 
Michael Jackson, <laughs> Usher, Chris Brown. <laughs> Yeah, like, like, no, what you said, just take it. <laughs> like that. I need that out of yo. Fuck it, yo. <laughs> like, I need, that's why I need pause because I was like, you know what? Fuck it, yo. James got it. <laughs> go ahead. But go ahead. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, he's just an influ- influential artist, yo. Uh, yeah. It's crazy, man. Um, I've, I looked at his catalog and the, all his songs Papa got a brand new bag, it's a man's world. Black and I'm proud. He has so many things that I, I mean, growing up in DC, we said Black and I'm proud all the time. It was chocolate city. So, oh, yeah. he, uh, you know, Black History Month, all that stuff we used to hear all the time. But um, you're right. James Brown is one of those icons who everybody knows. People make fun of him because of the way he talk. But when you got behind that mic yep. and got on that stage, Nobody can touch you. Michael Jackson. Guess what? Michael Jackson pay homage to him. Usher mm-hmm. pay homage to him. Chris Brown pay homage to him. Everybody in the game knows mm-hmm. how to be a showman because of James Brown. Yo. Yeah. Oh, for so, sure. That's they, what it is. He's like definitely like the ultimate entertainer. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, excuse me. Uh, I'm with Court. Now, I don't know when the first time I saw James Brown. It may have been Rocky. Like, I'm trying to think. I really can't think. But it's funny. Like, for me, like, I got introduced to a lot of his music just through hip hop. Like he's definitely yeah. like he's like one of the most sampled. Yes. Uh, <laughs> people ever as far as hip hop. Oh yeah, goes. Funky President. Like, Funky yeah, President like, is one of the, the biggest sample. James Brown. Big now. Payback was sampled a lot. Funky, yeah, Funky. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it was like during, especially like during like the eight, early nineties, was all yeah. literally almost every other song was a James Brown sample type. <laughs> like you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So that's how I got introduced to a lot of his music. As I got older, of course, I went back. Shout out to YouTube, not just for this channel, but I watched like a, a lot of old James Brown clips, like some of the greatest clips ever was like like him, like this is a joint with him, Prince and Michael Jackson. Like, you know what I mean? They yes. Got, oh my god. Stage. Prince rode on rode to the stage on, on the motherfucker that somebody's back. Like the biggest six nine motherfucker. Prince just got on his back. <laughs> <laughs> you know some video talk. But it's like so James yeah. Brown, like he is like definitely an entertainer out this world. I mean, from the splits yeah. to the mm-hmm. to the goat move. Definitely the goat move. We get down, they come out and throw the jacket on. <laughs> Yes. You know yes. Like, yeah. like, that's like he, he made a finishing move for, for singing. <laughs> like he made a finishing move for motherfucking performance. Yes. Like, yo, yes. Once I do this, it's a, it's a rap. It's over. Like, you know, mm-hmm. it's over. Mm-hmm. He real, did. So, God. You're right. You're right. So uh oh. yeah. shout out to James Brown, yo. Yeah. This yeah. Let me uh let, let me run off some something for y'all real quick though. Like Ali brought up James Brown being the most sampled. Dude, and I brought up uh, Funky President by James Brown. So, mm-hmm. Eric B for President, <clears throat> FT Shan, Kill the Noise, ended, NWA after Police, God Groove Me, Salt and Pepper, mm-hmm. Shake Your Thing, Public Enemy, Fight the Power, Heavy D, We Got Our Own Thing, Brand New Me, All for One, Ice Cube, Jack of Peace. I can keep going on. These are just yeah, say, the top ones. Yeah. We can keep right. going. Like, it's so many <laughs> recognizable hip hop hits. That sample James Brown and yeah, he definitely like I said one of the most sampled ever. So shout yeah. out to James, you He was doing Damn the same, man. man. Yo, your boy had the the fresh he press. I don't even know what to call it. Yeah, and, yeah, and he could like and he could sing. Yeah, he could it wasn't sing, just a front. Could, the brother could yes. blow. Yeah, he could yeah. blow. Yo, he had yeah. that voice, so you just like, oh shit. Yeah, it was dis- yeah, distinctive and powerful. Like it was powerful. powerful. Like you know, yeah, that's what like when you yell up in that mic, yo, you. Oh shit! You know what? Like, okay, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? He's like, a guy. He won't even pick up a guy. We, 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 like, it's a man's world. And uh, I need to touch on the song. I meant to touch on the song. Like the song for real is funny. When you hear it's a man's world, it's a man's world. You're thinking like, oh, it's a man's world, it's a man's world. But the whole song is basically saying like, yeah, it's a man's world. Men do all the men shit, but it ain't shit without woman. It's like, it's like about yo, we. we Make all the toys, we buy this, we get money, we buy shit from other men, this and that. But that shit don't matter. Like, it's just like a man's world. But you know, it ain't nothing yeah. without a woman, you know what I mean? Right. Very so, true. I mean, like, men make everything and do this. Why? I mean, of course, men don't make everything, ladies. Don't come at me. Like, you know what I mean? Great women invent- inventors and all that. But I'm just saying, just in general, though, men, I'll say men get a lot of credit 
for everything that's made. Mm. And men yeah. get like credit for this and that. But it's like man's world, this is man's world. But guess what? It's just be a bunch of motherfuckers around sausage party, yo. Like the shit don't mean mm. nothing without, without a woman. Like, you know what I mean? Like go get the bacon, like, somebody hey, gotta cook it. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Like, it's it's he, he, and he's yeah. preaching in that song to like love your woman, put your woman first, because it's he, he even though he's saying it's a man's world in in the undercurrent of it, he's really saying it's really not our world. Yeah, so that's because, that's the, the the undercurrent message of it. It's really not our world. Yeah, this is live performance, so they didn't really do all the lyrics. Like like with the yeah. last lyrics of the song are uh, like. It's a man's world, you know, whatever, nothing without woman or girl. It's like he's uh-huh. lost in the wilderness. He's lost in uh-huh. bitterness. He's lost. He's lost. Lost. He's uh-huh. lost. Yeah. Like, because we don't, it's like, you know what I mean? <laughs> One thing I can say James Brown is good at, which we saw in a live performance, he's very good at reading the crowd and uh, I don't want to say ad lib, but just going off the vibe. He was just yeah. vibing right then. You could just oh, tell yeah. because like, he. At the he end? The end? Oh my god! Yeah. He was just bobbing right yeah. there, yo. I mean, that, that was incredible, absolutely incredible. Yeah. The shots was going because they, 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 oh, the they knew how to ride. Okay. They knew how to ride it out to this. Like, oh, oh, he on yeah. the floor. Let's just do this. Like, we yeah, they just kept playing that beat over right, and over yeah, again. It's like, like we don't go to our normal shit. We don't put, like you know what I mean. Like, right, like no, we do this. No, he on the floor. Let's just ride it out. Like you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Yeah, I find, I, caught, I saw in the video. There was I don't know if y'all ever saw a meme floating around with James Brown like sweating in his hair all perm, sweating his perm out, and he's rising up. And people was like, like when you gotta fold all, when you gotta fold all the laundry, all this stuff, or when your girl make you do all this and that. This, it's funny how people make fun of James Brown, yo, because his hair, yo, his and, hair was because he always had uh, a perm. <laughs> In his head, yo. I've never seen. I take that back. I, when he first came, I saw it with a low cut. Yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a window of time when he is rocking the afro, and it's it's around that time period where he did. I'm black and I'm proud. Oh, so, that's yeah, crazy. Is, I don't even remember none of that. I always yeah. For the now, now see, this is when I went back and started learning more about James Brown. But I I knew of James Brown, but I never actually saw him until Rocky Three. But there's a there's a, a small window of time where he's rocking four. an afro. Rocky four. Yeah. If it, if it, um, I'm sorry, Rocky right four. Now. Rocky four. Yeah. yeah. We can't let you really do. I was like, yo, I can't I, do it. I can't. Yeah. It was, I'm, it was hurt I got to make sure too. I get it right. <laughs> it was, I wanted to jump in. If it all correct you, I wouldn't be like, yo, Greg, we talking about Rocky. Thank you. Please let me know. I'm a huge Rocky, Rocky. fan, so I should have known better. should have known better. <laughs> Um, yeah, but uh, shout Paul out to Paul Weathers, out. you know, he's no longer with us anymore. <laughs> James Brown introduced you to your death. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and say now, we will get to that reaction because you guys have put that in the chat and we have heard your pleas for us to to do James Brown Living in America on Rocky Four, we are going to get to it. We are definitely yeah, going to get to it. Not, it has not gone on deaf ears, so uh, <laughs> we will get to it. Um, man, does anybody have anything else you want to say about this fantastic performance from the Godfather Soul? Nah, good. No. Man. So say, this is great, great to say all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, man. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. As Ali said before, don't forget to go to the Facebook page. We're going to pin it below so you can go ahead and click on that. Subscribe. Go ahead and lay your thoughts on a song you want us to react to. And the most likes will get it done on this channel. Other than that, I'm Corey Roy, Hollywood DA, P902, and we'll be back at you with another reaction. Peace. Peace. Yep, yep. You can get with this or you can get with that. You can get with this or you can get with that. You can get with this or you can get with that. I think you'll get with it.